Friday guys. I look crazy because I've been working all day, but I just got a few packages in to figure out how to unbox it for you guys. One of the packages I received, I already started unboxing it, but it's from Lancome. Lancome has been spoiling me this week. I wish I recorded all of them, but this is definitely my favorite one. They gifted me literally every single like one of their viral products. I'm so excited. We have the juicy tubes in here. Their new brightening pro solution. I'm gonna box it off for you guys, but I'm super excited about this. First thing we have here, this reminds me of just like when I was growing up and the juicy tubes with like the juicy guitar sweatsuits and all that. So I'm so excited to use this. They actually gave me two of these. So this one is in the shade Miracle. And then they gave me another one. This one's called Bring Fling. Another beautiful peachy coral tone. So I'm super excited to use both of these. Well, I'm excited to use everything. Next, they gave the Clarifique Refining Brightening Pro Solution. I think this is one of their new products. I use their Genifique serum every single night. It's literally like Botox in a bottle. I'm obsessed. So I think this is another one they recently came out with. And like I said, this is to refine and brighten. It has nice cinnamon and all these other amazing things in it. So I'll let you guys know what I think, but I love this packaging. Lancome always has the best packaging. Another viral product is their Lash. I, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but... I'll just show you guys. Everyone says this mascara is amazing, so I'm very excited to try it. And they also sent, this looks like another mascara base mascara so this is to enhance your mascara i love using these before putting on a mascara just to kind of give it that volume boost that you're looking for jason background eating then they also sent over their liner again cutest packaging and this is waterproof liner which i've actually never tried before so i'm excited about this and then last but not least they sent over another perfume that's actually what they sent me earlier this week with a ton of perfume and i was just so excited because it all smelled amazing. Oh, so this is one of their new perfumes. I'm obsessed. Look at that packaging. It's so beautiful. That smells so good. This reminds me of Christmas for some reason. I don't know why, but this smell just reminds me of Christmas and just like the winter time. So I'm very excited about this as well. But thank you so much to Lancome. Made my day, week, month, all of that. Probably gonna start getting ready because I am heading to Pilates tonight. Going to Pilates or like some sort of workout class on Friday nights has just been my thing. I really love it. I'll try and take you guys along with me. It's always hard to film in like workout classes. I feel like, I don't know, I just never want to. I don't know how people do it without getting in trouble, but I'll show you guys just like the room, my outfit. Try and film a few clips, we'll see. But I'll catch up with you guys when I'm all ready to go. Just and about to head to my workout. My favorite Gymshark shirt. Then I'm wearing my favorite aloe leggings. I love these designs. And my little Stanley cup. As you guys know, I've been loving this. Totally understand the hype. I'll have a link down below. Princess Polly sunglasses as always. And then my favorite anthropology purse. So that's my full little Pilates outfit. Friday night Pilates. I guess that's where I'm at in life. But I'll catch up with you guys when we're there. face is swollen it is not a good morning for me but i'm about to get my hair done so i need to quickly get myself together it's like 9 a.m which i never usually wake up this early on the weekends it's usually more of a 10 10 30 kind of girl made a last minute hair appointment which i haven't gotten my hair done since i'm gonna say march so it's definitely grown out a bit you probably can't tell because my hair is curly but but it's straight almost down to my butt so figured it was time to finally get a cut and i've been missing my curtain bang so i'm gonna go do that this morning pull myself together but this is my outfit abercrombie workout dress linen top from zara and just my sneakers catch up with you guys when we're there
back home. I just showered. I'm gonna have to redo my hair because we were walking all over Chelsea trying to find a more furniture for the apartment. I really want to get a mirror for like the dining area. Well, I guess like foyer area. And I also want to get a chandelier to go above the dining table and a lamp somewhere. But the lamp is like least priority. We are getting our coffee table on Monday, which I'm very happy about. But yeah, we do have a bit until we have dinner reservations. Having a little date night at Cucina Alba, which we haven't been to, but heard great things about it. So we're just going to chill here for a bit and then start getting ready probably like 30 minutes or so is that my daughter nala is that my daughter it's time to start getting ready i actually picked up this new gloss that i've seen all over i think it's like a glossy balm i've seen it all over tiktok this is the Hourglass Volumizing Glossy Balm Phantom. I don't know. But this is in the shade Haze. It's like this darker tone. I'll let you guys know what I think of it when I do try it. But I think I'm going to pass on it for tonight just because the look I'm going for is more like pink floral, I think. <laughs> we'll see if that outfit still fits me, the one I'm thinking of in my head. Actually, Save Beauty sent over a ton of products so i think i'm gonna go in and use their foundation you always have to shake it beforehand but i recently did a reel on it and people really liked it i also really liked it so i think that's what i may go in with try out this new charlotte tilbury pillow talk matte beauty blush wand i don't think i've tried it before although it looks like i have but we're gonna go and light up first i okay, know this is actually really pretty i feel like that was a perfect shade for me oh i love that i have like the best setup going on right now i have my ipad right here i got an ipad stand so i have like all my makeup ipad stand watching youtube videos it's a good vibe <music> There is a life I lead in this city Hurry in to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the grave Wow, look at how gorgeous that looks together. This is the finished makeup look. Now I'm just gonna go in and fix up the hair a bit. He did blow it out earlier today, but I don't really think he had enough time to like fully go in and do like the full on blowout like how he usually does because he did have like a few other people waiting. So I think I'm just gonna go in with the Dyson and just make it look how I wanted it to look because we are going out to dinner and I am playing sick photos so just gonna quickly do that and then I'll check up with you guys when I'm done also if you guys are wondering what iPad stand I had it's just this one like this and I love it because you could just easily collapse it and fold it into this I'll have it linked down below but it's really great just like happier when you're getting ready whenever I'm like in a rush I need to quickly just like add some volume this is basically how I do it I just bounce like this. When I return from the afterglow, will you carry me like I am? Okay, my hair is pretty much done. I just have to the front. Obviously, these curls will fall, which is why I don't brush them out. I just kind of leave them as is. Now, I'm just gonna go in with the front curtain bang pieces. I actually went in with the round brush tool just because I wanted to like smooth out the front of it But this is the completed hair and makeup now I need to quickly figure out what I'm wearing because like I said I'm hoping to wear a certain outfit, but don't know If it's all fits me as this is the full makeup hair I'm gonna quickly show you guys the outfit the lighting here is not the best, but I just have this 
cute little corset from Revolve. I'll have it linked down below. I'm obsessed with it. It really just like sucks you in and I feel like this is the perfect pink tone. And then I just paired it with these white jeans. You guys would have seen it in one of my last summer hauls. These are just from Zara. I love them because they're not like skinny jeans or like boot cut length, whatever it's called. And my shoes. My shoes are just these Tony Biancos. Actually, I'll show you guys better in the mirror. That's probably a better full look at the outfit. But like I said, corset is from Revolve. I'll have it linked down below. And then I'm just wearing these Zara jeans. I like that they're like boot cut i guess you could say are more straight leg and then the shoes let me zoom in these are the shoes they're like these little kitten heel like mules and i'm obsessed with them the lighting is kind of throwing them off they're the exact same color as the top i'm wearing yeah that's my little date night fit for tonight hopefully i'll get some cute photos and hopefully the pasta tastes just as good as everyone raves about <laughs> back home we went to Katrina Alba and it was really good now I'm about to take off my makeup quickly shower one of my favorite items from Katrina Alba was their bread it was really good we got this like whipped ricotta with the bread it was so good and then we also got this item which is for some reason not on the menu but if you ask them they'll make it it's for two three I guess you could say and it's basically this like spicy pasta with like I think it was burrata yeah i think it was burrata and it was very very good i leave recommend we'll definitely end up going back like i said i'm about to just take off my makeup I off my makeup i usually go in with my element pro collagen cleansing balm i absolutely love this it just gets everything right off and i also use my face halo to just like take it all off so i don't have to constantly like be putting my face in the water and then after that i go in with my youth to the people face wash as you can see it's pretty much empty and then my duval spin brush any spin brush will do this is just the one that i have right now and then to dry my face i go in with these clean skin towelettes them off amazon i have a link down below Happy Sunday. As you guys saw from the earlier clip, this morning is going to be more of like a reset routine. So I cleaned the entire apartment like a few days ago. I should have actually vlogged that. Sorry, I didn't. But now Jay is going to do the bathroom and the laundry. We're also probably going to hit up Home Depot because I want to change all the lighting in this apartment. Last night when I was trying to take photos of my outfit, I was like, why is the lighting yellow? Like, we need to change that immediately. Just ice rolling my face because it feels so swollen. Anytime I sleep with the air conditioner on, I wake up with my face just like ridiculously swollen for whatever reason. I think I have a few things I need to film and a few outfits I need to shoot today. is pretty much complete i think i'm gonna try and do the little freckles i'm very nervous i'm using the lancome idol ultra precision waterproof liner this is a really nice liner i feel like i'm writing with a pencil wish me luck because i'm very nervous i've never done this before but i'm just gonna do it very very lightly all right honestly this pen is actually really good for this i feel like you guys can't really see let me try and zoom you in yeah you could see i've just done these two little ones i'm gonna try and do a few more i feel like for my first time not so bad it's not fully like a strawberry makeup look just because i didn't put that much blush but i will when i film it for tiktok what i was really was testing out was if this liner was gonna work for what i was looking for and i feel like it perfected it i'm gonna quickly finish everything up and then it's on to figure out where i'm taking this photo this is my inspo photo so she shot this content clearly like in her home in the doorway i'm gonna try and attempt that her floors are a lot lighter and like obviously more aesthetic than ours but let's see let's see if i could figure this one out successfully got the photos in the apartment i've never shot in the apartment before but this may be a new thing to do a new girl too 
They mount the new go-to, but just a new addition to how I already take photos. Also, I've been spraying my hair with this Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. And I feel like it really does give like some sort of volume to my hair. But like I said, I always like, you know, the more voluminous look. And I feel like this is pretty good. This is like the mini version. I'll have it linked down below, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. I just filmed a million and one videos. I'm so tired, but I have to clean up this mess behind me and take off this outfit. If you want to see my little Abercrombie Basics haul, check out TikTok Real Shorts. I'll probably end up making a YouTube video about it as well, but if you want to see a sneak peek of what will be in it, definitely check those out. This is my I don't really want to go to Home Depot because I never want to go to Home Depot, but I have to, and I want to go to Sephora and pick up a few items because I want to film the strawberry makeup trend that's going on i want to get on it and film it tomorrow because i feel like it just started happening yesterday so i want to try and get early on the trend but just throw on this little brandy melville crop top i've had forever my anthro purse you guys know i wear this all the time same princess poly sunglasses as usual and then i just paired it with my adidas sweats and obviously not wearing these slippers gonna put on my air force ones but i'll catch up with you guys when we're there Shower, did my skincare, and now I'm snuggled up, about to probably watch some TV before bed. I got the bulbs I needed, also got the makeup I was looking for, but I think I'm gonna end up the vlog here and just start a new one tomorrow with more like apartment updates because we are getting the coffee table tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. So stay tuned for that. But just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next vlog. Like I said, it will be a lot of apartment updates. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.